So again, here's a good location. What I would do here is just chisel, make this bigger under here, introduce the bees. Um, and this could be a beautiful, beautiful shot. If we make this a dummy hive, you know, let's say this tree is dead. We cut it up here, we'll never shoot above here. We could put in a window here into the hive, you know, and then basically this would be the camera view of the bees coming in. Imagine a hornet landing here and walking around, and then we've got view from right on the side into the hive and catching the action as it goes in. This would be beautiful. Again, you know, if this was opened up, it's not, but in, you know, maybe 20 years from now, it will be. But you can see where the trees rotting out here that eventually this is going to hollow, hollow out in here and it makes this beautiful location. See this is another beautiful, look at this here. This tree is actually dead and you could actually, I don't know what was in here, I think it's just dead leaves. But you could turn this into a hive. Here's the entrance, right? Uh, some work, chisel this out because ultimately we're going to be filming in here the hornet lands walks around and then the back of the tree like here we basically just use a chainsaw cut it down put in plexiglass for the for the camera angle that captures the the action look at this beautiful tree again here's another example the bees would come in and live up the hornet coming around into it, cutting out the back or the side here for the camera angle for that entrance. There's also something about you right here. Hornet was just flying around and I wasn't quick enough to start the thing and he just flew off. But he's probably doing what I'm doing, <laughs> checking out these trees for things. So what happens is how these trees rot out is they get a hole like this water gets in here and it just slowly rots out the tree until it gets down to the base um, and, it, and some of the rot will actually work its way up which becomes dry and again this becomes a very pictur picturesque view right here beautiful but it's not ready I love this little grove of old trees and it's sad to me that there's no bees here. They're definitely killer hornets. And, um, you know, maybe we could, I could actually come out here and try to track them and find their nest. But the problem is I don't have bees here. So even if we set this up for hornets here, um, there is, um, you know, I may have to spend more days looking for bees. trying to save this. Walk down the trail to see the pine tree. Probably means to cut. I don't know what that white means. Probably ready to cut. And then basically you can start heading down, following the embankment over, and it'll take us right to the grove. Here's another sign. The red tree, the white tree must be okay to cut. The red tree must be don't cut. By some sort of natural wood or something here. That's what I imagine.